So let's take a quick look at searching in the web portal. By clicking the search button at the top here, it'll bring back everything that is available in that particular database. And if you hold your button or your mouse over the search icon, you'll see that with a PC you can use Alt S or Option S for Mac. Keyword searching can be something as simple as just typing it out and hitting return or hitting the search button and there you've got returns. But the search bar can do a lot more. For example, you could do rock hard and then go alt, put the star key, that means alternative uh, or any stem from alternative and then put a minus sign to say omit anything punk. And again, I can get right down. And you can see the pills here, now what we call pills. So if you wanted to take the alt function out of it, or the hard function out of it, or clear it. Now there's other ways that you could achieve the same thing. You could type in rock, get your returns and get some suggestions there. And then you could use the actual words that you see in there. So you could lock it off and say, yeah, I need some guitar stuff in there with some fat sounds and punchy. And I've gotten down to where I want to to, to search. Now there's even more ways to do it. If you know specifically what you're after, you can sort of say, I need a composer whose name is John. Or you can say an artist by artist name or by user comments that you've put in if you've been on the site before or if you know the file. Or if you want more options, you can actually build an advanced search by adding more options and different fields to search. As well, what you can do is you can just simply ref use the refine button. Now over here to the right, you'll see the refine. And this breaks down the library based on a number of items. So I know I'm looking for tense music, so now I'm looking at all the tense tracks. And I only want the ones that are up to 15 seconds. So quickly, with a couple of key clicks, I can be right down to the area where I want to look. At any point, you can lock off these returns and search within those returns. Or you can keep using the refine filter to keep going down and down and down. Now, if you're not into keyword searching, you can start with the refine window over here. So over here, you've got a numerous things that you can refine by. Instruments, moods, release dates, disk titles, libraries, categories. So you could use this as a starting point instead of keywords where I know I'm looking for score, I know I'm looking for a particular mood, intense score, and if I know what library that I'm looking for, I can get right in to where I want to go. So you can use the refine window as a way to just browse what's available and get pretty well close to where you want to be and start listening. Now when you start listening, all you have to just do is click the play button and your keys on your keyboard left and right will allow you to scoot along the waveform you can also grab and you can get so if you know that at one minute there's a build or you want to hear you can also click randomly on the waveform and with the continuous button on it'll automatically play to the next track And if you like those tracks, you can use the Find Similar button, and it'll find you other tracks that have similar kind of qualities to that. At any point, the actual file that you find can be used as a starting point for a search. By clicking the Metadata window, you see all the metadata that's associated with that track. And you'll notice as you move your mouse over it, all of those become links. So if you want to find other things that are atmospheric, clicking that will bring you back more atmospheric things. Same way that if you wanted to bring back everything from that disk, you just click the disk number. So you can use that as a starting point 
to search as well. You can also get info on a particular track by using the info button and you'll get this pane here. That's your five minute quick tutorial on searching.